which has become a system to generate money, a system to generate millions of dollars, not causing people to change, but causing people to give you thousands upon thousands of dollars so that you can buy a jet. Thousands upon thousands of dollars so that you can buy a Rolls Royce. They're living the best life while we continue to suffer in our community. What was your question again? What about, what was your question? What about the churches? So, if you go down the street, right, how many churches would you pass in, this, in five minutes? You would pass five or six churches in five minutes. How long have churches been established in the black community? Since we came out of slavery, you've been establishing churches, right? So, with the establishing of churches in the black community, and we know that we can go in any of our people's neighborhood and count five or six churches in less than 10 minutes. Has the condition of our people gotten better or gotten worse since the establishing of churches in our communities since slavery? It don't. Yeah. Okay, you, you said that you, would, you could say that it got worse. This is 2023, right? The decline, according to statistics, of black people in churches is down almost 70% from the time of slavery. That means only 30% of the black community in the community goes to the church. Has it gotten worse? Most definitely. Crime is higher in our communities. Churches become uh, a, a, a place of fashion and uh, prostitution, in a sense. In right. more than a sense, in reality. Because in the churches, you have what? You got the pastor sleeping with two or three sisters. You got deacons sleeping with two or three sisters. You got brothers and sisters who are boyfriend and girlfriend in the churches, right? But is boyfriend and girlfriend found in the scriptures? No. That's marriage, there you go, sister. Marriage is found in the scriptures. That's right. What is happening in our community is, all these pastors, give me Jeremiah chapter 23. All of these pastors around the black community or in the black community around the world have helped destroy the black community. Right. We have not risen, not one bit, since having pastors in our community. Why? Because they don't teach our children the laws of God. From a, from a youth, our children, are, they grow up watching boyfriend and girlfriend in the church. Right. They watch in the church women coming in with tight dresses on, showing their whole body. You see what I'm saying? They're not getting a righteous vision in the church. Right. But God knew this. And this is what is written. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. Woe be unto the pastor. So God says, woe. Until the pastors. Anytime you read the word woe in the Bible, God is saying destruction. So let's substitute the word, right? Woe means destruction. What did God say? Woe, destruction. Be unto the pastors. Be unto the pastors. Pastors are supposed to do, supposed to do what? Teach the people. Get that in Malachi. Hold that. Get that in Malachi. It's very simple. And what has happened is church has become a system to generate money. A system to generate millions of dollars, not causing people to change, but causing people to give you thousands upon thousands of dollars so that you can buy a jet. Thousands upon thousands of dollars so that you can buy a Rolls Royce. They're living the best life while we continue to suffer in our communities. But there is something that people must seek from the pastors. Let's see what that is. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest lips. The priest is just like a pastor, right? The priest or the pastor's lips should keep knowledge and should keep knowledge. Now let's find out what this knowledge is that they're supposed to keep. It should keep knowledge. Come on. And they, and they, meaning the people that go to the church, right? The people that go to the church and they should seek the law at his mouth. They're supposed to seek the laws of God at the pastor's mouth. Now, let's look at 
Do you, have you, have, do you know the brother of, uh, what's his name, Rasheed Carter? Have you heard of what happened to Rasheed Carter? Rasheed Carter, this happened about three, four months ago in Alabama. When, no, Mississippi. He was kidnapped or ran into the woods and they sawed his head off. They saw, they cut his head off and split his brain, sawed his brain open. All right? The, the same people that did this to your ancestors. The same people that did this to your ancestors are the same people that saw your brother here in half and cut his skull open in Mississippi three months ago. Why? Because we're breaking God's commandments. God gave them the rule over us. Now, is this being taught in our churches that we should keep God's law? I'm sure when she's mother, because I've met her, I'm sure she taught him some good things. And I'm sure that there was a church in that community that was supposed to be leading our people and teaching our people according to God's law. That's what the church is supposed to be for, right? But what you got to understand is the people are the church. Guess what? You're in church right now. But are you in a building? No. Christ said, when two or more gathered in my name, in the midst, I'm in the midst of that. This is church. I'm going to show you that. But the pastors around all of our communities are supposed to be teaching our people. They should seek the law of mouth. But because they're not teaching God's laws, and our communities are in the decay, look at how we live. Look, look at it. Look at how we live. We're not a God's church. God, the creator of heaven and earth, chose us as, as his people. And we're supposed to live like this? Does that make sense? No. We should be living in the best places of the earth. But what happened? We broke the commandments. And now the pastors aren't teaching that. That's why Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 1 says this. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. We're the sheep of God's pastor. We're the sheep. He says, whoa, destruction to the pastors that destroy the sheep of my pastor. Come on. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. So he said, I'm saying this against the pastors that feed my people. Notice, read up again. Notice the name Israel is mentioned. The whole time you're standing here, you must know that you are, who are you? You are what? You're an Israelite from what? From the tribe of what? Where is that? From the tribe of what? Judah. That's who you are. One second, brother. Let me finish this. Read it again. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of Israel. The Lord God of Israel. This whole Bible is talking about the children of Israel. Read. Against the pastors that feed my people. The, the pastors that are supposed to feed the people. God knows. This is what he's saying to them. Read. He has scattered my flock. He has scattered my flock. Let me show you how they scattered the flock of God. One second, brother. Let me show you how they have scattered the flock of God. In church, around December 25th, what are they doing? Is that in the Bible? Let's find out. Okay, so let's find out if, the, if what they're doing in the church. Remember, we're talking about the pastors that are scattering, that are, have scattered the flock of God. Let's see one way they've scattered the flock of God. Read that. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 2. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. God told the children of Israel, do not learn the way of the heathen. Who are the heathen? The heathen are all the other nations. One second, brother, you are older gentlemen. You're supposed to understand not to cut a man off in his speech. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. I'm dealing with the sister. She had a question. Be patient. Be patient. If, if what, what you got to say, See, that's not... No, no. Read. Sister, listen up real quick. We're, we're discussing, we're discussing what God, how they are scattering, how they are scattering God's flock. And we are, we are dividing in our community. Watch this. Read. For the heathens are just made at them. You know why I have to do that? Because... When I was, you my sister, you are learning how to apply God's commandments. You know what he wants to do? He want to teach us now. Now that we're teaching, he wants to teach us. Before today, how many people you start standing by your teacher? None. But he lives in the community. So we cannot let the, the brother take the information away from you. That's not how we operate. 
You're trying to learn something. Our job as messengers of this Bible, messengers of God, is to make sure that you get the information that you are seeking. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.
And when he conquered Hannibal, guess what he did? He changed the name of the continent to fit his last name, Africanus. Thus today, you have the name Africa on the, on the continent of Africa. Now, let's analyze that. He said, what is African American? Who discovered America? Who discovered America? Who, 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 who was it? Okay, America was not discovered by Columbus. It is named after a man named Amerigo Vespucci, another white man. America is named after his Spanish name, Amerigo. America, Amerigo. So when you say you're African American, you're saying that you come from the sperm cells of Leo Scipio Africanus, a white man, and uh, Amerigo Vespucci, another white man. Is it possible for you to come from two white men? I'm going to ask this question one more time. He said, yeah. Is it possible for you to come from, be born from two white men? No! Why you say, he, 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 this the elder. Brother, how can, how can you be born from two men? You see, this is the foolishness that keeps us stuck in this condition. This is, the, this is why we must change. Before you go, I want to show you something. Let me show you two things. We finish this in, in Jeremiah, finish Jeremiah 23. This is how they have destroyed us. This is why we are destroyed as a people. Don't listen to that, sister. Don't listen to that. We, I just proved to you without a shadow of a doubt. Two men cannot produce life. So how can you come from African American, which is two white men? You gotta see what's going on. This is a spiritual battle. This is not a physical battle. This is a spiritual battle. Just like I said, what's this? What fruit did Adam eat after the tree? He ate an apple. Now, is it written anywhere in this Bible that he, he ate an apple? Corn. He ate grapefruit. He ate this, pineapple. You see the first thing? He made This he is why we gotta pay attention. This is how we are lost as a people. Hold that. I'm gonna show you something. Give me Isaiah 1 and verse 3. We read this earlier. I'm gonna show you. Because our people don't care. And as long as we learn and, and continue to walk in this mindset, guess where we're gonna stay at? On the bottom. On the bottom. We cannot change if our brothers don't change their mind. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knows his owner. God says an ox knows his owner. Read. And the ass is master's crib. And a donkey knows where his homeland is. He knows his crib. Read. But Israel. The true Jada. Israel. From the tribe of Judah. You. Israel. Don't you know? We don't know who we are. Come on. My people. Hold on. That's, he said, my people. Read it again. My people. Don't not consider. We don't consider who we are. But yet we will continue in the foolishness that we learn. I know it's about the rain. This is the last script. We're gonna wrap it up. Give me Psalm 19 and 7. This one for you, Jada. And then we're gonna wrap it up. This one is for you. With everything that you've learned in the last hour, because I sat back here and I watched you listen. With everything that you've learned, the biggest the biggest takeaway from today is that you know that you are not a black, you are not African American. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. Read this. This is the book of Saul, chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. The laws of God is perfect. We got to keep God's laws. Come on. Converting the soul. That's what changes our soul. That's what changes our mind. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making the wise the simple. Making wise the simple. So this is how we change, all right? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.